in this video i'll show you how to make this sort of creative photo collage by the help of photoshop so let's get started if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first you have to go to file and new options from here i am choosing here the letter size which is 8.5 by 11 and 300 pixel per inch rgb color mode 8 bit and hit the create button and after that going to the file and place embed options so in this section i selected lots of photos of this model and i want to make that image by the help of this so here i have this photo and placing it up make this one bigger that's good and hit the tick button from here i'll use two way one first of all i'll cut the model from the background and i'll make intake the background because of we need the, this sort of background to make the design fulfill first of all you have to rasterize this and main rename this and press ctrl j and cut cut for the model cut that's fine go into the selection tool and then select and mask options and after that select subject so from this panel we'll check the cutting of the hair and everything is good so hair defining we'll turn it on color hour we'll make and make this one decontaminate color in this portion we'll make it 55 that's fine so easily you can retrieve the hair and everything without losing any detail that's fine going to the downside and here new layer with the layer mask and hit ok so we got our desired background by the help of this so turning it off now we can use the background of the image so selecting by the control and select over there and selecting this one cut so from here we'll go to the select and modify and expand so our aim is to remove the subject from the background and hit ok we'll increase the border and then going to the edit and going to the fill options and from here continue and hit ok we are getting the background clean from here we'll make more beautification here is some here spots and everything and from the patch tool we making it patch that's fine and here as well so we'll make it patch this area as well making the patch after making the patch this background is workable and now ctrl u for desaturate of this so making this one like that and increasing the lights that's fine and our model and background now this one will rename model fine this one we don't need this layer and making this one bg from main good and that is the bg2 that's good and we are making it turn off and model that's fine press ctrl or command t to make a little bit of smaller of this we need to include text and everything over there so that's good and the unnecessary area will remove by the help of the rectangular marquee tool we'll mark it out and delete those area that's fine and time to add those uh, images and the shapes and everything and uh, the write-up and everything now going to the shape tool going to the rectangle tool here if we count one two three four five six and here is another shape so six shape so at first we'll make some square shape that's fine with the stroke so making the stroke color white and stroke thickness will be 10 that's fine three will be like a full square and another three will be like a rectangular like this and another one should be like this little bit of bigger but square that's fine 
so now time to place over there so one i will place over and then another one i will place over there in this case we don't need the stroke for this uh, rectangle so from here the properties panel will turning off the stroke that's fine now time to place the photos and everything so here is our boxes so here is the first box so we'll make it place properly we need lines over there so for that reason we'll make some small lines and actually those lines are the rectangle but uh, thickness is uh, less than the previous so making that downside of the all layers and another will be over there now we will change the color into this sort of color or a little bit of like this and from here we will make it multiply or you can choose the better one so colorize it could be the colorize and vivid so I would suggest that multiply is the good option and after that every shape we need some photos so this shape if we consider this okay I'm going to the file and going to the place embed options so here are lots of photos at first we'll insert this photo and make it the reshape according to the rectangle and after that is the alter button to make it shape mask and selecting this making this one group and providing the name 01 that's fine that's fine and now everything will make another group that is photo and except the orange one will make it the upper side of the group by pressing third bracket closing and opening and making this one mask before that we have to make it convert to smart object and we'll make it mask to this so now we can make it bigger or smaller but is uh, like uh, matching with this we can explore with that so making this one smaller or bigger and now time to write down something so here is the full name and now placing over there at first we have have to take this name Sophie and going to the Photoshop and placing the name over there control or command T make it bigger and we'll make the font color white which is pretty much match with the background where we are using the orange one that's good and after that here these sort of things so I'm taking this and placing over there okay press ctrl or command t making making it bigger that's good the color should be according to this or this this is good that's good and the name and everything here i'll go to the text tool and taking area and pasting over there that's good the text color would be white like that and making them into the middle of the artboard this one as well middle of the artboard that's fine and now here is the background draw like this and this so we'll use a background which is the circle background here place control command t making this one bigger actually like this and we'll provide color from here and making it multiply so we can make it a little bit of like this or we can try this fine and now here is another one the actress so t and t 
I'll provide the font download link in my video description. Please check it out to get this sort of font over there. So our design is ready. If you want, you can make this one more darker. So I would suggest you to make it more darker for the visibility and everything. So we're taking this one little bit of downside. That's fine. And making those things another group which is text. That's good. And now time to add some gradient. So going to the gradient options and from here going to the basic and selecting the basic one and from here linear to radial and make this one reverse the scale will be up like this that's fine and now after doing that we'll go to the upside of all layers and now going to the levels from here we'll choose the red if we choose red you can change up the color that's good and going to the color balance options from here here is uh, cyan magenta cmyk and you can go to the highlights as well so you can adjust the color and everything what types of color you want you can use so this model i will make it a little bit of uh, desaturate so going to the filter and camera filter by selecting this model layer and from here I'll make it a little bit of up and from here going to the color options making it desaturate a little bit but the color mixture from here the leaves will be red and hit okay so that makes sense to make this sort of vibrant photo collage and now I'll save it out for the tutorial and that is the PSD format. Now I'll save into the JPG version for web publishing. So from here, JPEG and the same name, save and save this one as a JPG. Uh, which size do you prefer? You can increase or decrease that size. I'm preferring uh, that kilobyte and hit OK. That's all for today. Hope that you learn a lot from this video. If you did, please thumbs up and share with your friend. Until the next video, ASMR is signing out today. Stay safe, stay healthy. Keep me in your prayers and bye-bye.